I'm going to tell you this one time and one time only. Stop defeating yourself before you even start the battle. The first thing you must do, you must see the victory of this obstacle, of this giant, of this game, of this opportunity that you have. You must see yourself coming out on top. That's the whole game. The number one game plan is preparing before the game. There's so many things that we deal with every day. So that's why when you wake up in the morning, the most important thing you can do is find something inspirational. Find something uplifting. Find something that can change the outcome of your day for whatever starts. You know why those successful people are successful? It's because they prepare themselves every single day when they wake up. Never quit just because you feel defeated. Your journey to accomplishing your goals is possible, but only after great suffering. When you feel like quitting, ask yourself, have you done everything you can? Have you sacrificed your time, your sleep, your health, your sanity? Because people are going to look at you and say you're crazy. Your best friends are going to tell you that it can't be done and that you'd be better off quitting. But remember the things that you are doing well. If it's not working, then improve it. There's always another level to reach. Make your goals better, bigger, stronger. I wish I could tell you every day you're going to wake up and your dreams are just a little step closer or that that goal is just a little further ahead. It's right around the corner. You're almost at the top of the mountain. But I won't tell you that because it's not the truth. It's going to take sweat, blood, and tears day after day after day, hour after hour, month after month, year after year. Don't let complaining and negativity get into your head because the attitude and energy you project is the attitude and energy you receive. When you feel like quitting, stop comparing your goals with others and start keeping a positive attitude. When they go to sleep and they dream about what is the next move for me to be better than I was yesterday. And you, you must start doing that now. There's no one, there's no one who can push you to be successful like yourself. You can have a number one fan who is your ride or die, who backs your every move. But if you don't believe in yourself, as much as they believe in you, you won't be the best version of yourself. So right now, make it up in your mind that if I have to go through hell or high waters, that I will come out on top. That other person will not beat me. That the other team will not succeed more than we do. That's the only way you're going to win this battle. Failure is an option, but giving up is not. People are so afraid to fail, they don't even try. Don't be afraid to fail. Be afraid of not trying. Because if you don't try, then you're definitely not going to succeed. You miss every shot you don't take. So don't worry about making every shot. Be worried about not taking that shot. But what people don't know is that failure is the stepping stone to success. We must embrace failure. We must use failure as a learning experience. We must use failure as a tool. Every no you receive in life is one step closer to a yes. So when people say failure is not an option, don't listen to them. Disregard that. Failure is an option. We can fail. But from failure, you must learn. What's not an option is giving up.
Because if you keep at it, you keep going nonstop over and over and over again, eventually you'll get what you want. You don't have to be great in order to get started, but you have to get started in order to be great. I'm not afraid to fail. I'm not afraid to fail at all because I know that failure is part of the process. I know that failure is only the next step to get me to where I'm going. So when I first try to do something, I know that failure is coming. It's like when you start a new job. Of course you're not gonna be the best person right away. Of course this is gonna make some mistakes. That's expected. So you should expect that in whatever you do in life. When you first started out to do something, you shouldn't be afraid to fail because you know that's just part of the process. Everyone was a beginner at something at a point of time. Nobody was born excellent doing what they're doing today. Don't compare yourself today to where somebody else is today because they've already been through the trials and tribulations and you haven't. So if you start in a business, don't compare yourself to somebody else that already has a business that's been five years down the line and that's been through their bankruptcy, that's been through their friends backstabbing them, that's been through the government trying to shut down, that's been through a pandemic, that's been through all these things, and now they're finally getting success, and you're looking at them, and you're envying them because they're at the place where you want to be. But you have to get through these steps. You have to get through these failures in order to get to where they are. We tell our kids that if at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. But as we get older, we kind of get away from that. We kind of say, if at first you don't succeed, forget about it. No, don't forget about it, keep going. People wanna be perfect so bad that they don't even wanna try. Because you're looking all over the place, looking at that person, this person, that person. Your only competition is really yourself. Your only competition is your yesterday self. So the only person I compare myself to today is who I was yesterday. I'm trying to be a better person today than I was yesterday. I'm trying to be more today than I was yesterday. That's the only competition that I have. Other than that, I have no other competition. You can't compare yourself to others. Other people are not in your shoes and you are not in other people's shoes. So there's no way you're gonna get the same exact result as somebody else. They're not going through the same things you're going through and you're not going through the same things they're going through. So next time you're afraid of doing something because you're afraid of failing, be afraid of not giving up. Be afraid of starting something and not finishing because that's the only way that's going to guarantee that you're not going to achieve your goal. Only if you stop.